good afternoon. Uh, went up and uh, uh, managed to grab uh, what I think uh, will be a, a little transistor that can replace uh, this guy here. And if you remember this guy here, this was the Q5, sorry, Q6 out of the current limiting part of the circuit. And when we hit this, you saw if I zoom in that after it tested, it uh, came out the Q6 was just a short. So let's try, uh, let's just try one of these. Uh, man, come on. Uh, and I think these have been sitting in the NTE dealer's stock room for quite some time. So let's just put this guy on and see what he comes up with. And it's coming up as uh, an actual nice NPN transistor. So that's exactly what we expect. So we know we're pretty confident that works. So now what I have to do is to try and work out from uh, the data sheet of uh, this guy here, which is uh, an NT123 uh, Alpha, uh, to what uh, this guy was, which is uh, some unobtainium HP uh, specific part built by Motorola, I think. And then try and work out what uh, a meter collector bar, uh, base layout was actually uh, used so that uh, we can uh, solder it together. So I'm just going to go do that and then we'll be right back and uh, solder it in. Alright, so now we're ready to go start uh, looking this through. So if we look at Q6 here, uh, the first thing that we're going to see is that uh, the emitter of Q6 comes up and connects to pin 1 here and goes through and this is a, a like a 0.82 ohm resistor so if I put on pin 1 I can then go and sort of have a look and see if I get and I'm getting 0.9 so we know that the emitter is this guy here now the next one uh, we know that the base of Q6 goes to the emitter of uh, Q5, but it also goes to pin 4 and it does that through a 1K resistor. So if I go to pin 4 and we already know this is the collector so now um, sorry, this is the emitter so now if I go have a look at that that one is 1K, so we know it's emit so we know that's a uh, emitter base and then this would be the collector and so the collector comes across to here and we can see if we look actually on the board you can see a, a line across and so that's going there so the layout is uh, emitter base collector as we go down uh, the path here so you know if we look at the the board we're going to have emitter uh, base collector okay so now on our uh, uh, thing I can't remember I've already forgotten uh, let's come and stick uh, let's zoom back out a bit again let's just stick this uh, guy back on uh, I could look up the data sheet but uh, I happen to have this guy right here anyway uh, the middle one is going to be base I remember that from uh, the first time we did this uh, and so if we do this again and put that in there and Push this, we're going to see uh, that pin 1 is emitter, pin 2 is base because it's green, and then pin 3 is collector which is black. So it's going emitter, base, collector there as well. So let's get rid of those and push this out of the way. <laughs> I'm having a senior moment, I just completely forgot again. Uh, so it was going collect emitter base collector so we want to go in this way here like this into uh, these holes and then see how uh, we go so let's uh, get this in here get some flux on it solder it up uh, and see how it goes okay so let me just clear this out of the road I'm gonna keep that Just going to go put uh, a little bit of flux here on these guys. 
a little bit on the back too just to make sure that we get good adhesion now these things have been in here for quite some time so there's probably they looked pretty crusty when they were sitting on the shelf at uh, at the vendor so let's go and put this guy in I'll get one in two in three in let's push him right down and now we can bend these leads out so that it'll hold it uh, nicely in place there so I promised myself that I wouldn't uh, I would do something other than uh, um, solder on camera again so I'm not going to zoom in and do this you're just going to have to trust me that uh, uh, the soldering is working here then Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, have to touch it up. This seems to be very. This is. It seems to be taking a lot of heat to warm those pads up. side that uh, the emitter I think I got okay uh, sorry the base I think I got okay let's uh, just get in there solder mask is very uh, uh, easy to I'm going to turn up my turn up my um, soldering iron a little bit I if it's, maybe I need a bigger tip anyway let me go there and let's just turn this guy around Okay, need a little bit of extra heat in there, I think. So now let's take this out of here. Let's just go get these. Let's get to our clippers. And then we'll clip these off. You don't want to clip them off too close to the top of the solder joint because you don't want to fracture the joint uh, okay so if everything goes to plan then I can drop this into uh, the device and it will boot up the 40 volt run -up. let's me let me go grab that and we'll uh, take a look so this is where the the board went let me go and put this board in okay let me close this down now remember when we plug this in we do get uh, some unregulated power just shoots in there because it's got to keep the the uh, uh, oven oscillator warm so Let's put it in there and I don't know if you can see this but the little 40 volt uh, light is up there let me see if I can this is not uh, you're not supposed to be able to really zoom in with these wide angle lenses but let's see if we can zoom in there and there you can just see the 40 volt light uh, 
Okay, so I just took the little jumper off the, the back, plugged it in, let's turn it on. And you can see it comes up external ref, three gigs. So we'll just uh, keep playing with this a little bit. Oh, the oven went out. So it should now be hot enough for me to uh, swap. So if I take the my external reference out again. So let's just start uh, over here. Take my external reference out and put my internal reference back in and put this jumper back on which I really have to look into because it has a switch to set uh, internal external reference and then it has a jumper which seems to not make any sense um, but there we go we're now we've got you know on internal ALC you know level RF is on so we can change this to whatever value we uh, we feel like this stuff is working you know let me scroll this down two gigs scroll it right up it should peak at uh, 18 18 and a half so overall I think we got a reasonable uh, I think I've got this this working now what I need to do is to go and uh, uh, get my 8902A well my 8902A won't, won't do uh, greater than a 1300 uh, uh, megahertz so I need to go get a, a frequency counter so that I can see how the the frequency is but overall, I think I've managed to get uh, the 8672A back up and working. So we'll have uh, another video, uh, uh, maybe a little later, uh, looking at how uh, it works and whether it goes up to 18 gigahertz and uh, uh, what the power is and maybe some tweaking to get it into to spec. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Catch you later. Bye.